Alrighty. What I'm going to work on today with Traveler is, is flexing. When we're on the ground or in the saddle and we pull the rein around to our hip on one side, we want his nose to come around sideways and touch our leg and stop. We want his feet to stop, his body to be in, in that kind of a posture so that no matter what, that becomes our emergency brake. Um, and it's called a one rein stop. And the way to start building a one rein stop, the foundation for it, is teaching him to flex when you pull his nose around. Now, I don't really know how long this is going to take. Sometimes it's quick and easy and sometimes it takes a long time. So what I'm going to do is take the slack out of the lead rope. I don't want his head to come around here. I want him to I want him to bend his nose a little bit more than I'm asking for to start with and I want his feet to stop. It may take a while and if I go outside the range of the video on my phone then I'll have to just cut it off depending on how long it takes. I'll take the slack out of bend his nose around. Bending it, try to bend his nose around. The more he goes around and around, oh, we got a skate stop almost. Let his feet stop almost. Good boy. You couldn't see the front end, but you could see the back end. He finally stopped his feet. And even though it wasn't perfect, I went ahead and let him go because I want him to get the idea of what I'm looking for. I'm going to go farther away so that you have a broader range to see. The first time took, the second, third, and fourth times weren't bad at all. Now we'll try the other side. I'm just trying to stay in the same place. Stop. I want his head to come in a little bit.
chasing him around. I'm just trying to stay in the same place. That's a good start. So he brought his head around, but he didn't stop his feet. So his feet are stopped. I want him to give a little more than I asked for. There. He turned his head toward me a little bit more, but we'll call that good.